actually had to look up like who on earth is pop culture classroom. Because I heard who Gina Corano is. Everyone knows it's a famous person, strong, independent woman, powerful. And there are weak organizations that are trying to take her down. Why? They probably don't even know. But it's because it's the bandwagon, right? I mean, a woman spoke for herself in 2022. She wasn't a corporate mouthpiece. That is her crime. You know, you have all these corporations that talk about, oh, we need more women in positions of power. We need more women to speak out. And when they speak out and they fail to be the corporate mouthpieces and say the same bland stuff that you hear corporations say, then they need to get canceled. And by canceled, what we mean is persecuted. Persecuted for their beliefs. They need to be ostracized. They need to be shut down by the actual gatekeepers. The actual gatekeepers. These are the people preventing women from ascending to positions of power. They are gatekeeping women. It's what they do. It's what they, keeps them up at night. Oh my God, like this woman might be at this expo. Oh, we need to stop. Actual misogynists. I have been lectured by feminists for two years about what misogyny is and that we live in a cisgender, heterocapitalist, normative patriarchy. And they are absolutely right. And these are the people standing at the gates preventing women from joining our hobbies. And they use such... Uh, deceptive language in order to do it. They, they talk about inclusion, and every time they talk about inclusion, they actually mean exclusion. I mean, do this game, okay? Try this out for yourself. I, I don't want to be like, oh, the Democrats are the real racist argument, but let's try it out. Google inclusion and see what it comes out if it's not in the context of someone being excluded. 90% of the time, it's about excluding people Banning someone? I mean, do I not understand the English language? Am I not speaking English? Like, if you have a club, a business, where you have a couple of bouncers at the gates, and they keep out the riffraff, in my English language, that's called an exclusive club? Members only, invites only, right? It's an exclusive club. It's not an inclusive club. An inclusive club is a place where anyone can enter. So every single time they talk about inclusion, they actually talk about exclusion. I now understand the wisdom of Orwell. Yes, freedom is slavery. War is peace. The Ministry of Plenty deals with shortages and hunger. It now makes sense. Because at a first glance, you know, when you're reading this, it's like, oh, they want inclusion. Oh, they don't want gatekeeping. But they gatekeep and they want to ban people. I mean, there are millions of fans that want to see Gina Corano and they are rooting for her. But there are small organizations in positions of power that want to prevent that from happening. They want to position themselves like your mommy and daddy between Gina Corano and the millions of people and say, no, you're not allowed because she's too dangerous for you. How is that not gatekeeping? How is that not keeping women from the industry? I, I genuinely don't understand why people don't call them misogynists. Unironically. Unironically. And it's not the definition of misogyny that you grew up with. No, it's the definition of misogyny that feminists have coined and the Trust of Safety Council on social media operate under. I'm not making the culture. I'm not creating the rules, but the rules exist and the culture is. So I'm playing by the rules. I'm playing by the new meta. This is the patch notes that were handed to me I understand that keeping women from hobbies is misogynistic. How is what they are doing not fitting that definition? Can anyone explain to me? Oh, but I have morals, V. I, 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 I just shut the fuck up, okay? You're like a freedom-loving hippie during World War II in London going, Oh, I don't like those evil airplanes. I don't want to know how to fly one. I don't want to build an anti-aircraft gun. I just want the Germans to stop bombing. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, my point is that every single time they talk about inclusion, they're talking about banning people. And again, what Gina Corrado did was edgy tweets. That's it. Like, she didn't hurt anyone. Not a single person was hurt by Gina Corrado. She didn't do anything to anybody. And what, what's more interesting is that now she just wants to join 
an exposition. And, and it's not like she's going to do anything. Like, she just wants to meet her fans, but she's not allowed. Why? Because the gatekeeper, the misogynistic gatekeepers at pop culture, issuing a cringy corpo statement and, and black and white with their corpo PR speak. We at Pop Culture Classroom is committed to creating welcoming and inclusive spaces, except for women, like Gina Corano, who speak for themselves, and don't use the corpo speak. They talk like actual humans, and you, you, you can change her mind, you can talk to her on Twitter. You know, she actually responds to fans, this is why I appreciate her, like, she doesn't have comments with disabilities, like, disabled comment sections is what I'm talking about, that she doesn't do that. Inclusive faith, you know, yeah, through, through our educational programs. We were not consulted on the booking and, yeah, and her involvement. <laughs> Statement. Of the... Shut the fuck up. You know, uh, Corano passed comments. Notice how she, they, they don't talk about the comments. Why don't they talk about the comments? Because they know that most people don't give a fuck. Like, literally, most people, normal people, like, go on the street, ask your taxi driver. Unironically do that, okay? Like, go ask your taxi driver about Gina Corrado's comments, and, and if by some miracle your taxi driver goes like, oh my god, they, they are too far. They are too far. Like, should she be banned for it? Like, do you think she should lose her job because of it? Do you think that a company that wants to empower women and allow them to not be marginalized and have their voices heard, sh should that company fire her? An MMA woman, you know, like strong and powerful... Do you think she should be fired? And you'll see that the, the, I, I genuinely am willing to bet that no taxi driver will say that he thinks Disney should have fired her. Go ask your hairdresser. Ask normal people on the street, okay? Not the crazy blue check marks, not the corpo people, not the PR, not the suits, not, not, not the corpo cyberpunk social media. No, no, no. Like, ask the average Joe on the street. Go ask a farmer. Go ask some random guy. Ask your mother. And you will see, right? And these people are the ones that are being gatekept constantly by these individuals who pretend that they are against gatekeeping, who pretend that they are for women. Because at the end of the day, this is what bothers me the most, right? It's the pretension. Like, just say Gina Corano goes against our corporate interests and is making us lose money. Just say that. Just say that and I will at least shut the fuck up. Because I will be like, well, you know, they're honest about it. Can't say they're liars. I mean, it's a company you know, it's trying to make money. If she's against corporate interests, I mean, okay, I get it. But they're not doing that. They're like, oh, no, we're, we're defending the hobbies from misogynists while, while they're the most misogynistic people on the planet, according to their definition, by the way. Let me know what you guys think, though, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.